Hi guys, it's Sherry from Sherry's Backdoor Holding. Oh, oh, I want to show this to you. Yeah, I brought this all the way over the counter. It was a mistake. <laughs> that was a horrible mistake. But I want to show this to you real quick. I'm doing my healing candle, and this is the last day this healing candle is going to burn. Look how close it is. There are lots of names, but look, there's lots of names from more people. So, it's sunrise, I lit the candle, and it's the last day I'm going to light this one. Oh, it's a pretty candle. I love all the wood wicks. I actually am thinking about cutting my hair. I'm thinking about cutting it like right here to my shoulders. And my hair is naturally wavy, so it'll just go But it's moving in Florida. Anyways, I thought I'd... Oh, yeah. Morning. This is my morning. I, I woke up this morning. To the greatest. Apparently last night I was really tired and I got toothpaste still in my shirt. I'm gonna wash that out though. This shirt's really it's clean. It just came to me yesterday. Hold on. Oh, I was gonna show you. Alright, so I get up in the morning, I take the clean dishes if I'm able to. My shoulders give me a lot of problems, so I can't reach up too far with my left arm too far. And I soft I put them right here. And when my guy's mother gets up, she um she'll put the cups in the cupboard for me. And can you see? I don't know if you can see it. Just a little bit more. No, it's over there. There you can see. I got well ripe bananas. Oh, I'm gonna eat some bananas. Today, I'm actually thinking about making and using these as a sugar substitute for a pudding, a uh, pumpkin pudding. Doesn't that sound good? I'm gonna do pumpkin pudding and I put these in there. Bananas from the really ripe stage, they're sugar and they take also the place of eggs. So, I like adding eggs to my puddings and things though, but this is gonna be a refrigerator pudding, so. I want to put raw eggs in there. Anyways, so I'm also going to show y'all a cute little thing. Hey, grabbers. So I need a cup that I can't get. Come over here. Open the cupboard. Oh, well, actually, this is pretty convenient because the cup I need is right there. See it? Take my grabbers. Hook it. I need to balance it a little. There we go. Let's see. This. This will be the cup I use. This cup's pretty heavy. I don't know what it's made out of. But it's pretty heavy. It's heavy enough to point to work. I don't like using it. But I don't it. And my father, I gave him one of these cups. I had four cups in the set. They were a little. I spent a little money on me. It was, it was about. I don't know, twenty dollars, twenty five dollars, and I got four cups like this, and I gave one to Papa, and my favorite one is still back there. There we go. It's just when I lift my left shoulder, it's tight. So the stitches are coming out next week, so I'm trying not to bother it. And I took my antibiotic this morning. Let's see, what are these antibiotics called? These? They don't upset my tummy. Yeah, these are like these. Salaphylaxin. I don't know. I like these. They don't upset my tummy and I don't ever take antibiotics, so that's a good thing. So I can't wait. I'm going to write the new healing candle today. I have already... Oh, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit better, as you can tell. I've already... Don't laugh. I've sewn up five pairs of underwear that I ripped. It's not that. It's just for me to put them on. I have, oh, I have to be able to stretch them. I put them on the ground and put them around my foot. And I have to be able to stretch them basically from my knee to my foot. They've got to be able to stretch that far. So I wear some very stretchy underwear. <laughs> and if they don't stretch that far, 
<laughs> I rip them sometimes. Anyway, so I have a really quick review for my smooth coffee. Oh, it's so good coffee. I'm going to keep using it. I noticed that I had a little acid reflux. I've never had acid reflux. So I think that I'm scooping too much of this coffee into my coffee now. So there's that perfect, perfect balance that I haven't achieved it yet. All right, I'm gonna go make Raven coffee. It's sunrise, the candle is lit. I have no idea how long it's gonna burn. I mean, there's really not that much in there. Oh my gosh. It, I'm making my baby blanket still. I'm doing some other things still. But yeah, this is mainly an update about the human kettle. Now, why is this a mistake? Somebody in a wheelchair should probably not be carrying around a glass candle that's lit. Probably shouldn't. I'm not saying that somebody in a wheelchair, excuse me, can't carry around a glass candle that's lit. I'm not saying that. I'm saying they probably shouldn't when they have balance issues like I do. That's why I'm in a wheelchair. My legs are now functional enough to carry me confidently 30, 30, 35 feet with my walk confidently. And then I gotta sit for like the next 45 minutes. But uh, yeah. That, that's no fun when you want to go do stuff. It's like, oh, this, oh I can only go 35 feet. Oh, I guess it. It's no fun. Anyways, so the wheelchair, I not scared to fall. When I first moved into this house, I fell all the time and I hurt myself a lot. I'm talking, I probably had more bumps and bruises than you could count. Mm -mm. It was not happiness. So I talked to my neurologist and I talked to everybody and we decided that the wheelchair, when you're alone and you have nobody here, which I don't in the morning, so not this early, um, wheelchair is a good idea. And then after a team, like probably 10 or maybe 15 MS exacerbations, my legs became less and less reliant so I just slowly started using the wheelchair way too much and after all of those MS exacerbations yeah they changed it they changed it from MS attacks to exacerbations um I just my balance became so bad so Full time in the wheelchair. Unless I'm supervised by somebody that can handle me. Now, once you get a gate belt on, even the smallest person can handle you. Because all they gotta do is when you start to fall, either yank you back in your chair, which they do, or lower you down to the ground. That's. And, and then you gotta wait for the ambulance or the lift team. There you go. Anyways. So, my, um, my grabbers are my lifeline. <laughs> be able to do a whole lot more. And if I don't get this coffee started, I do believe somebody's going to be cranky. They need their coffee. Stay. <laughs> oh, all those cups are all washed up and ready to go in the cupboard, and I can't put them up there. Even with the grabbers. Not happening. Anyhow. I will talk to y'all later. Think about the candle. If you want your name on there. Put it in the comments. Um, have a good day. And there's a big old storm coming. We've got warnings on our. Google. We've got our warnings for the storm. So, And our. Trees are just uh, moving around. They're all wiggling. <laughs> Alright, love you guys. Like, subscribe, comment. I will talk to y'all later.
Good night. Goodbye. Uh, see you later.